Okay, so for today's Target Hour recipe, what you'll need is 250 grams of red split peas. Do rinse the red split peas in some cold water first. Here I have one finely chopped red onion and here I have three tablespoons of butter ghee. Now if you don't want to use butter ghee for health reasons, feel free to use another oil like olive oil, but do remember this will dramatically affect the taste. I would recommend using butter ghee because it gives the, uh, the Tarkadale a lovely flavour. Here I have 750 ml of cold water. You may need to adjust the amount of water you use depending on the consistency of the dough you like to eat. So thicker you will use less, um, thinner obviously you will use more. Here I have two tablespoons of fresh coriander. I also use the coriander stem in this. The stem carries most of the coriander flavour, a nice intensity there. Now over to the garlic and the spices. Here I have half a teaspoon of turmeric and here I have four finely chopped cloves of garlic. Here I have one teaspoon of cumin seeds and here I have half a teaspoon of salt. Again feel free to season as you wish. Here I have one very small piece of cinnamon stick and here I have two tablespoons of garam masala. So let's get on to making the dough now. So first of all we'll need to empty the water into a saucepan or a pan and we'll bring that to the boil. Pop in our bay leaf and then we're going to add the lentils. Remember the lentils are going to absorb most of the water. We want a nice relatively thin consistency. Um, obviously you can have it thicker if you like it, it just means you reduce the water back down a little more. So we're going to leave that now for 20 minutes, 25 minutes. Meanwhile we're going to start to prepare the tarka. So I want you to get a nice, another frying pan and heat it up. All we want to do is add our butter ghee and melt that. Okay so pop in a piece of cinnamon. We're going to start frying the onions. These brown in around five or six minutes. Don't want to burn them, but we wanted to get all the moisture out of the onions. Just add a pinch of salt to the onions, release all their, their moisture. Tiny pinch of salt. Okay, so these have been frying for around three minutes. Now I want to create a little space and add the garlic. It's smelling absolutely wonderful already. There's nothing better than the smell of fresh onion and garlic. So I'd say another three minutes and then we're ready to add our dry spices. So when we've got our onions nice and brown, I want us to add in the cumin seeds. So I'm going to make a little space for the cumin seeds, the turmeric powder and the garam masala. Okay, so now what we want to do, I'm happy with that. I'm going to leave that to the side until the lentils are done and then we're going to add it and then it's going to totally change the final dish. So I'm going to turn the heat out and put that to the side. Okay, so let's see how the lentils are getting on. Take the lid off, I have had them covered and I have had added a few splashes of water more. Okay, so give them a good stir. Turn them out, they cook nicely. Most of the lentils have dissolved and you've got a nice grain going through there. And what we're going to do is add the onions and the tarka spice mix that we prepared to this, to basically stir it, stir it, stir it in. Add some more. That's it. I'm not going to use all of the tarka that I prepared. Um, I do play it by eye. I add just as much as I like and um, I think that's just enough for me. Finish off by sprinkling in the coriander. Right, so now there's the half teaspoon of salt that we had. I'm going to put that in last. Give it another taste. Stir all those ingredients in. I'm going to plate it up now. Let's tuck in here. Mmm, really nice. You can taste all the garam masala spices in there. Oriander, the red onion, just a touch of cinnamon. That's just how I like it. This is perfect for me. So anyway, do give this recipe a go. I'm going to make my way through this. And, um, until next week, I'll see you again.